Hello there, my name is Mr. Smartonkey. Welcome to my let's play of Age of Empires 2, the HD edition. So, I've actually had a bunch of people ask me to let's play this game, and of course, since I let's played Age of Empires 3 and Age of Mythology, I figured I would do it eventually. So, I actually started recording this a few months ago, but um, I then stopped recording it for some unknown reason. So, I figured I'd just redo everything that I had recorded so far. Uh, I didn't record too much, to be honest, but um, anyway, so there is the. Uh, this is the HD edition. We're going to start off with doing the Age of Kings campaign. This is the original campaign. Probably going to do the Conqueror's campaigns afterwards. And then after that, there is the new Forgotten uh, campaigns, which they added in as well um, as part of the HD edition. These are all new. I've never actually played these before. I haven't honestly played all of the campaigns uh, of the original game before either. Um, but uh, I am planning to do that now. So I actually haven't played Age of, or Age, yeah, Age of Empires 2 as much as I have Age of Empires 3 and Age of Mythology. I used to play them a lot when I was young. Uh, Age of Empires 2 I actually never owned. I, I played it at my friend's house, but I never actually owned it myself. Age of Empires 1 I owned myself as well, um, and I played that quite a bit. But Age of Empires 2 is the, the one that I didn't play as much, even though it's one of the best ones, really. Um, if not the best Age of Empires game there is. But anyway, um, so these first few episodes are probably going to be super short because I am going to start with a learning campaign. I do know how the game works, but I feel like just going through all the campaigns anyway, especially because it's still a campaign, like it's the William Wallace story, and I like to do all the stories. There's going to be a lot of different campaigns. If you look at, I mean, there's five here, then there's the Conquerors, there's another four, and then I think I saw another six or so on the Forgotten. Uh, seven, actually, even. Battles of the Forgotten, the last one. So, um, yeah, there's going to be quite a bit that we're going to have to go through, but I think it'll be cool. So, anyway, William Wallace, the learning campaign. The warriors of Scotland attempt to hold off an invasion of the better-equipped English armies, take command of the Highlanders, and learn the basic concepts of Age of Empires II, the Age of Kings, such as how to build an economy, how to train your soldiers, and, most importantly, how to fight and defeat your enemy. If you're new to real-time strategy games, you will learn all you need to know. If you have played the original Age of Empires, then you can skip ahead to new futures such as garrison and formations. Um, I think, again, we're just going to do everything anyway. Uh, even though the first few missions are literally just going to be marching and fighting for example, it's going to be very simple. Uh, I am going to do the same as I did with the previous uh, Let's Plays on Age of Empires 3 and Age of Mythology, where I'm going to do one episode for each um, mission. So, yeah, these first few are definitely going to be very, very short, but I figured it'd be alright. Anyway, so let's do marching and fighting. Age of Empires 2 is about empire building, combat and conquest. You start from humble beginnings, a small village in the Dark Ages. You explore to expand your borders, conduct trade to boost your economy, and research technologies to grow your civilization into a mighty empire. But there are difficulties too. Cunning enemies and rivals that oppose you, powerful castles to destroy, tyrants to bring down. And if you're skillful and a little lucky, you just might build a wonder of the world and create an empire that will stand the test of time. To learn how empires are built, help our first hero, William Wallace, in his fight against his oppressors. We are without a leader. The dead king of Scotland has no heir. War creeps in from the south, where Edward Longshanks, the avaricious king of England, has returned from successful campaigns to conquer Wales and France. As Longshanks turns his attention to Scotland, the shadow of fear settles across the highlands. The English have thousands of Welsh longbowmen, hundreds of knights on horseback, and dozens of siege weapons. We Scottish have a rabble of untrained soldiers who do not even know how to march in a straight line. Well, we must act soon. If we have any chance of resistance, we need to forge an army by any means necessary. All right. The English are terrorizing all of Scotland, and it's time for us to fight back. But if we're to defeat them, every one of us will need to learn how to march and fight. Follow the path to the blue flag. First, click the soldier. Good. I've clicked him. Now, right click near the blue flag. I might just skip through most of this and just run through. Now, move to the next flag. Click the soldier. 
Then right click near the flag. Excellent. To move to the next flag, you must walk through the black <laughs> This is moving into the black area like, reveals more. Like there's the really no need to play this, but again it's it's a, it's an actual campaign. Especially the last two missions in this, I believe, are um, actual like story missions. So. Go on to the next flag where you'll meet some allied soldiers. Hey allies. How's it going, allies? To move all your soldiers at once. Click near the units. I'm gonna speed run this campaign. Then right click to move. Oh, this this tower is going down. To the next flag. Did all your units make it to the flag? Yes, they did. Scroll up to the outpost building by moving the mouse to the very top of the screen. Then click the red outpost. Die tower. Right click the outpost to attack. Oh, this tower is going down, boys. Who's using fire weapons? This makes no sense. So yeah, um, fairly simple first few missions, not unexpected. Post is destroyed. That should slow the English raids. <laughs> Keep following the path to the village. It'll slow them down very much, I'm sure. Home sweet home. All right. Wait. English are angry that you destroyed their outpost. Well, I'd be angry too. They're coming to attack your village. My village. Just unacceptable. Keep keep kill. Defeat the enemy soldiers and you won. won your first battle. Victory. Good job. Now you Oh my god. I got an achievement. General. Scotland has soldiers now. If only a few. But if we are to turn back the greed of Edward Longshanks, we will need many more recruits. Much more gold in our coffers. These ancient stones and oaks around us will soon be steeped in the blood of clansmen. Alright, well, that was marching and fighting. Our first mission is done. As I said, these first few are definitely going to be fairly short. Um... So next up is feeding the army, which we will do next time. So thank you guys for watching so far. I hope you enjoy it. Um, again, these first five episodes, they're going to be super short. Uh, actually, maybe the first four. I'm not quite sure. I know these two, maybe this one as well, are going to actually be somewhat longer. And after that, all of the campaigns are just going to be normal length missions. But anyway, for now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye.